Greetings. We've always wanted to do this, so we're going to do it this time. We're going to do it right now. We are going to compare a Chinese-made K-Line hot mushroom pedal to the MXR Dynacomp pedal, which the K-Line pedal is supposed to be a clone of um, at a much less cost, less than a third of what the MXR costs. I'm going to uh, play through a Fender Champion 100 amp through the clean channel. All the uh, EQs are set at 12 o'clock. And I'm going to uh, play the same lick on, uh, with both of them. I'm going to not tell you which pedal is which, and then at the end we will let you know, and you can tell us if you want to, leave a comment or whatever, uh, what you thought. Anyway, this is our attempt at being uh, fair and unbiased, although I already have my own opinion, so we'll see how it works out. All right, this is the sound without anything on it. <coughs> Here is the uh, first candidate for pedals. Lost a lot of volume. Okay, we'll try the other one at the same setting. Obviously, the first pedal had less gain at the same setting than the second pedal did. So what we'll do is we will open up the first pedal a little bit, try to get a even match with the volumes, and let it go from there. Let me turn up the first pedal on the gain on the output and try to get a more even sound. Okay, here we go. Pedal number one again. Well, this is exciting. Here we go. All right. Pedal number two. Again. Pedal number one, I'm going to say the volume is set at roughly 2 o'clock. The volume on pedal number one is barely past 12 o'clock. So obviously pedal number one has a lot more gain. We'll test that by opening them both up on the output. While the compression level is still straight up at 12 o'clock. Okay, here we go with pedal number one at the output all the way up. up there. Now here's pedal number two with the gain all the way up. Okay, um, we could mess around with the other part of it, the compression. The compression sounds pretty even to me. It, what is the big difference to me is the amount of output. Um, they're more evenly matched with them both up all the way. However, in my opinion, I think pedal number two still had a little bit better of a sound overall. And, uh, well, we're going to leave you in suspense here for just a second to let you know which was which. What's your opinion? What do you think is going to be the better pedal? Obviously, the USA-made pedal costs more. It's got to be better, right? Wrong. Pedal number one was the MXR, and pedal number two was the K-Line Hot Mushroom. Whew, I'm glad I was right on that. I had a feeling and it was absolutely correct. I like my Chinese pedals. Go ahead and uh, zoom in and show them what we got here. Go ahead and show them. Uh, let's go ahead and do it again. Let's set, uh, I'm going to leave this one up all the way, this one up all the way. Compression straight up, compression straight up. Number one. <laughs> Show them everything at 12 o'clock. Everything at 12 o'clock. All right. Again, this is the repeat of the very first test that we did. Pedal number one, the Dynacom. Pedal number 
two. So there it is. The results are in. And uh, I'm sorry to tell these uh, American manufacturers, I'm a good American, I love my country, but I'm going to tell you something, that if you can't afford to pay these high prices for these American pedals, uh, some of these Chinese knockoffs are a wonderful option. I have others in my box here, and if I were to ac uh, acquire the American equivalents, I would be more than happy to uh, test them also. But for my money, I'm going with the Chinese clone pedals, K-Line and Joyo so far are working out really well. I know there are other companies and they're probably reputable. Some are, some aren't. That's up to you. I do my research. I do my research when I buy a pedal. I go on YouTube, as you are, and I check out comparisons. I want to see what it says about it. I want to see them, you know, I want to make sure that they're set the right way and, uh, and everything. And so there you have it. I'm a poor boy and I got my pedal boards and all my stuff and it's basically Chinese stuff. So, sayonara!